What's up, guys? I got a new gun. Um, if you guys never knew, I have an E-Tech here. E-Tech 1. This gun I've already had for like a while. About half a year. And I finally got it fixed from Bank Shop. It took them three months. And they got new management. And the first like couple weeks of new management, like the first three weeks of new management, they got this gun fixed. So, yep. My E-Tech now works. It had an LPR. The LPR was like uh, overpressurized. So... I shot this gun and it shoots nice. So, hooray to the E-Tech. Got that back. And I got another gun just to play around with. Um, I still have my my uh, Trilogy. I still got this Black Max, sadly. Never use it. My Phantom. My Wrath is buried underneath there. You know, my Pro Player is a Wrath. Uh, my room is a mess right now. And, oh, you guys already saw it. So, yep, that's this gun. You know what it is? 2004 die DM4. Obviously, it's DM 2004, but so yeah, let's come out here. It's better lighting. Um, here I am, my DM4. This gun is really nice. Got it for 150 bucks off eBay. Um, it did not come with a barrel or an ASA. I did have an, buy an ASA, a shock tech on uh, on off, but that had some problems and didn't fit this gun. Um, like, see, this is a, uh, this is a, uh, direct mount, and I bought the, uh, <clears throat> the ASA was pictured with a rail, so I didn't have screws, so I'm like, okay, so, I was gonna plan on putting this, putting the, uh, rail and ASA into here, but they didn't come with the rail, so I bought a rail for it off first call, and the ASA still didn't fit the rail, so I had, a, I'm gonna return those, they're up on my desk, and I'll be getting, hopefully, a CP on off or something like that. Um, this gun... I have a shock tech sugar for it in my room, but I like the stock sugar a lot more. Uh, uh, let's see. It's got a Predator board in here, pretty much similar to a Virtue. It's got, I mean, it's a really nice board. Pretty simple. Uh, I'll show you what Predator boards are famous for. Alright. This is called OMFG mode. Oh my fucking god. Oh, I'm not rapping. Yeah, whatever. So that that's all my fucking god mode. Um, just does some have some kind of weird red color scheme. I don't know why the whoever did this did it. Kind of look kind of ugly. I might get some smoke grips and see if I can look for a new feed neck or spray paint this black because the red kind of looks pretty, you know, weird. Um, so yeah, this gun is actually not that. It's not that bad, but I mean, it's like. In between two and three pounds, but it still shoots really nice. Um, uh, it does shoot pretty fast, as you can tell. You know, it's like it's got the speed for you know, five hundred fifty dollar gun. Um, it's not like there's like no. It's pretty much fast enough. Um, it's a conquer speed. Um, uh, pretty much everything it's, it does well besides the weight, and it might have a couple problems with it, and you might be screwed on parts, but. I have not hit that yet because I just got this gun. Yeah, I don't think there's anything really that can break in this gun because this gun's pretty simple to take apart. Because all you do is take this screw out and the gun, the frame slides apart from the gun, and then you have your bolt up here. And I think called I'm not sure what you guys call this on dies. Maybe the ram. I don't know. Um, I don't know what this thing is either. So if you guys know, please tell me. See, I, I mean, I think it's some kind of like LPR adjustment or something. I mean, but there is like a screw here. I don't know what this does. See, see, like if you guys know, I mean, I'm used to Planet Eclipse, and I've gutted out my Diablo like all the way. I've never, I don't feel like taking this apart because I probably break it. But see, it turns. I have no clue what that does. Uh, so yeah, what else did I really talk about? Not much. I mean, this color is pretty cool. It's one of a hundred, I think. The polished blue. That's what I heard. Um, yeah, shoots straight, nice. It's kind of heavy, like I said, but. It's, there's, you know, it's still a really nice gun. Uh, break beam eyes, like any other high-end gun. Um, adjustable settings on the Predator board. Hyper 2 reg works just fine. You know, this gun is still a nice gun. Feed neck's a little bit high, and the red's kind of ugly, but whatever. I'm fine with it. Shoot straight. and fine. Um, I'll be switching up to my E-Tech in this gun, just because, you know, dm is cool. And ever since I remember... Like when I was little, like when I came into playing paintball, I saw this gun on like stores for like a, uh, like fifteen hundred, and you know, 
I'm like, oh my god, you know, this gun's sexy. I, I gotta have this gun. So, you know, here I am with one. It's kind of cool, you know, just to finally have a DM4 in my hand. I never thought I would actually have, like, an ego or a... I was, like, remember those days of dreaming having, like, an eye on. I mean, sadly. Um, I do like this gun a lot better, like, than my friend's SLGs and all that stuff. I mean, this gun is heavier and taller, but SL this gun has a full metal feel to it. I mean, see, it's all metal. No composite crap. I hate the feel of the composite frame and the composite trigger on the SLG. I hate that feeling. This is all 100%, you know, metal. I'm just still pretty light. Not no, it's you, got, you might call it a brick, but I don't call it a brick at all. You know, comparing this gun from the 03 to the 04 model, this gun is, you know, probably one of Dai's biggest jumps besides from their 05, the DM5 to the DM6. That was a big jump because of the well frame. Uh, yeah, I'm not really into the NT9. kind of looks ugly. But, um, so yeah, this gun shoots really straight and nice. Um, I'll be shooting it soon, so I don't want to waste all your guys' time here. But, so yeah, thanks for watching, and yeah, leave some comments and see if you guys can help me out whatever this thing does. I'm kind of curious. So, yep. That's all I got to say. Don't want to waste all your time. Thanks, guys.